Trippy, why are we still here? We should have left these guys alone a while ago. Why are we still here? Trippy? Hey, don't you turn your back on me. Ah, there's the lovely. Merita Bliss is restored. Makes it all worthwhile, does it? That it does? Different. Sure, yeah. Because I know what you're... I... 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 Let's go this way. Hey, Popper. Hi. Hello. Barf. Barf. Arf. Arf. <laughs> Can I go in here, please? <sighs> Hi, Myrtle. Oliver. What is it? Well, uh... If my father sees you, he'll. Oh goodness! Okay, um, Oliver, 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 you're too young. Calm down. I, I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Hmm. Hi. Go on out and play, Myrtle. But, father. Yeah, I don't know what happened to you either. When you needed me most, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time, I guess. Maybe it was me just keeping you close like a mom. Maybe it was you. Yeah, no kidding. I was scared somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little while, your mother and I would lose the one thing people. Drip, drippy, what are you? That we, we wouldn't be a family. Trippy, That's you are not a woman. Take the hat off. <laughs> Something deep inside you wouldn't let you leave the house. I'm... Oh. oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> Father, I... Do not start giving me the feels yet. I am not ready for that. I drank like ten Father. things of Mountain Dew just to be able to get enough energy to do this properly. Please. Now you're doing this? Please forgive no. me. Those tears, but then huh? no. no they're not. Okay, maybe. So much for you being honest. Uh, Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. Okay. Will you come with me? Murder. Sure. she's outside. Probably gonna have a very bad skin condition because of it, but you know. Myrtle. Just because she never goes outside. <laughs> I did it. Oliver, I did it. Your hands are cold I'm as hell. Outside. What the heck? I'm outside. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. That is adorable. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. I, uh... I'm so happy for you, Myrtle. Couldn't have done it without you, Oliver. I'm going to go outside every day from now on. I'll go to school again and meet new people and buy new clothes. Whoa, hold on, hold on. You kind of have to get money first. You know, you can't... You, you, you're turning out to be a real diva, you know? It's so strange. I was so scared to come outside, but now I feel brave. I feel like I could do anything. Oh, well, there. Listen to her, man. All of a sudden, she's got more courage than you could shake a stick at. I can feel it from all the way by over here. She does, huh, Mr. Drippy? There's someone in our moon who could really use some of that courage. Nice thinking, Ollie boy. A drop of metal's newfound bravery is just what we need to kickstart young Esther's recovery. Wait, so... Basically, we're going to talk to Rashad, kick his 
uh, Nightmare's butt, and then... No. Something the matter, Oliver? Myrtle, I, uh, I, I know a girl who's just like you. And she's going through something terrible. Huh? You're so brave. I wanted to know if you'd let me give some of your courage to this girl. To help her. And to help her family. Of course. Now how do we do that? We use magic. And I know just the spell. Magic? You're an... Interesting boy, Oliver. Sure. Go ahead. Alright, close your eyes. Like this? How old is Myrtle? She just went from like super perky, happy, childish to judgmental. First of all, rude. And second of all, ouch. And third of all, the heck. <laughs> Curves looks like a green S. So basically, if I do this, I've got a bajillion pounds of courage. This is my courage. Heh. I'll cry the hair on head. It feels warm. My heart, it feels warm. That means the magic worked. Thank you so much, Myrtle. Now my friend can finally get start to get better. Blah. I can't speak. Glad. But tell Ollie boy. Got some codes to deliver rains. Let's get going. Sure. Okay. Myrtle, I have to go. Wish your friend luck for me, won't you, Oliver? I hope she gets better soon. Oh she will. If she doesn't, I'll give her a pumpkin pie to the face. Or apple. Or a, a, a donut pie. <laughs> That's a thing, right? A donut pie. <laughs> How, what the hell is a donut pie? Thanks, Myrtle. I will. See you soon, Oliver. Wrong button. It's time to go deliver a donut pie to Esther. We got like ten boxes of them, and I, have not, I don't know what else to do with them aside from here. Have this. You know what this is, right? Hey, hey, you want a donut pie? Too bad, it's for Esther. I'm sure that'll kickstart her. She looks dead and all, but I'm pretty sure I can kickstart her with a donut pie. I think I made it right. I took I took an already baked donut, crushed it up, made it into the shape of a pie, and shoved it into an oven. I may have overcooked it a little bit. I've never been that be that best of a cook. So, sorry, man. If it's a pep talk you're after, I'm a bit short of wise words at the moment. Got a few unwise ones if you fancy them. Not what I meant to do, but sure. Here she is. All it for her. Oh goodness. Huh? Tiny! It's just like I thought. We've opened up her heart. Again. You can mend it for her now. Don't worry. This will only take a moment. Open your mouth. Say ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine Esther going, what the hell? Okay. Ah! I just, I just <laughs> shoves the pie in her face. <laughs> Here, see? Mouth's wide open. Here's the pie. <clears throat> Watch it work. I'm using the force to shove it in. What is this? It's called a pie. <laughs> oh, oh, um. Sorry. Where am I? What happened? Oh crap, I think I gave her amnesia. It was Shadara. You stole a piece of your heart. My heart? Yes. Is, you, Esther? is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. Father. Oh, forgive me, my child. <laughs> <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... 
have only myself to blame for the loss of my heart. Yeah, it's all your dang fault. Oliver. Time to shove a pie in your, it is your mouth. You have my thanks. I... You're welcome, Mr. Rashad. It's true. I will join you again. <laughs> That is a name of a flute I haven't heard in a very long time. Oh, it's an old story from way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace, like. The three kings of Arthur combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. And they were all Some kings at the moment? Came to an so I'm pretty sure right, right now one of them's a queen. How long is it now since the call of the clan was dispatched? Probably centuries? Not since the three kings got into a right old pot and fell out by it. Which was when? I kind of want to hear the story. I, I kind of wish, if they were to make another Nino no Kuni game, I kind of want to see that story. <laughs> Very well, daughter. Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Yay! Thank you so much, Mr. Rashad, sir. Let me come with you, Oliver. I want to help you fight Shadar. I feel familiar to help me, just like you. Yeah, boy. Whoa, we've got a gypsy on our hands. I've never seen somebody make a fluent movement like that unless they're a gypsy, so that's freaking awesome. Wow, you can fight with familiars too, Esther? Indeed she can. Esther's talent lies in the training and handling of familiars. So she's more of a familiar keeper than a wizard, is it? Is it? Fair enough. Useful folks to have around there. Uh, it's kind of a harsh way to put it, Drippy. She's cute. That's enough for me. <laughs> this is my Drongo. His name is Gogo. Say hello, Gogo. Hi, Gogo. Teddy. Now that's settled. Let's get down to business. You remember what young Oliver came here for, ain't it, Rashad? Drippy! Yeah, okay. Oliver, you took the words I took the words out of your mouth before you could say them. Ha! I do. You wish to learn the arts of the sages, do you not? Y yes, sir. I also have some pies I'm trying to sell. Some donut pies. They're kind of soft. I, I, I think I need to sell them soon, otherwise I might uh, have an issue. I can't carry these on my back while I'm running around fighting skeletons and ducks and I don't even know I'll remember the things that are out over there that you will need these spells puppet string okay secret ingredient hey I could use this on my pies here here do it eh nothing happened <laughs> see the page describe the magic lamp Pulse, which is a very good battle spell in my opinion. Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. I am satisfied that you do not lack the determination required. You came here from another world to face Shadar, after all. Y you knew? About me being from another world, I mean? Hmm? It was your actions that revealed your origins to me. You healed Esther when I could not. Which told me that you must have helped her soulmate in the other world. Yes. And only one who called that world home could have done such a thing. Really? Wow. So all of us from another, one of the other worlds you told me about, Father? Wait, other worlds? How many worlds are there? He was the one who saved me. Yes, it's strange. It feels like I've met you in a dream or something. Oliver. It seems there are things that only one such as you can do. You may be able to help our work. You shall have my aid. Thank you, sir. I'm only to... I will beat Shadar. I will, and it really is not that hard. Especially when you grind for a bit. Sometimes you don't even need to grind in this game. Sometimes. Perhaps. But you will need much training first. Without complete command of the magical arts, you cannot hope to defeat him. My cooking isn't good enough? <laughs> I, I was just planning on going up to, you know, Shadar's place and knock on the door. Room service! <laughs> I've got pies! 
I, I've got many different flavors. I got donut pies. I got pumpkin pie. Mainly donut pies. I hope you like sugar because maybe I can sugarify you to death. I mean, happiness. I was just gonna go up to his door and do that. Succumb him to the sugary goodness of my pies and just, you know, make some kind of deal that way. No deception. Nope. <laughs> that wouldn't work? Uh oh. The four great sages could not overcome the dark jinn. For a mere boy to do so will require more than enthusiasm only. Hello. What are you thinking? He's going to need to cram a shitload of experience under his belt in a heck of a short time, ain't it? Trust me, it's not a short amount of time, Trippy. We'll have a long ways to go before we get to him. Indeed he is. The kind of experience offered by the Trials of the Sages. Oliver, you must undertake them. Okay, makes sense. Trials? Where do I take these trials? North of this place. In the north of the desert. Yeah, I, I, I knew that before the dialogue even popped up. At the Temple of Trials. Temple of Trials? Yeah. I do. The home of the Supreme Sage. Master of Familiars. You too have much to learn, Master. Only those with the Supreme Sage's blessing are permitted to open the doors of the temple. I will accompany you. Thank you, Father. You'll be great at the trials, Oliver. I know you will. I did not stutter. That was the freaking idiot who was reading my dialogue's fault. <laughs> I can only imagine somebody putting stuttered lettering into the freaking their freaking game and then breaking the fourth wall, pinning it on the development team. <laughs> <laughs> that would be freaking awesome. Thanks, Esther. Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. Rashad is now traveling with you. Temporarily, but still. Okay, are the- ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? What is that I smell? Hello. It will soon be time for the Babana Bazaar. What shall I give them this year? You should look excited, sir. But of course I am, young man. The Babana Bazaar approaches, and I will soon have the inestimable pleasure of buying gifts for my dear grandchildren. I like this guy. Here, have a pie. They'll enjoy it. It has a lot of sugar, so they might be up for a long time, but they'll like it. Just don't leave it in the sun too long or it might melt. It's not ice cream. <laughs> Let me see now. If we include those living in other towns across the land, it must be perhaps 30. Wow. Jeepers creepers. That many? That's an awful lot of presents. That may be so, but for each I am rewarded with the priceless smile of a child. I really like this guy actually, and their happiness is my happiness. May the ancients watch over them. This is kindness. Craggy, the man's a living saint. You don't see kindness like that every century, let alone every day. Yeah. Uh, sir, would you mind helping us out with something? It could save people in trouble. It could. Sure could. Please say you'll help us. Very well, very well. Since you ask so nicely. Thank you very much, sir. Now he's gonna be even more kind. Any more kind, he'll kill someone with the kindness, jeez. Has anybody ever thought of that one as more like an upside-down tear? Oh, what a marvelous sensation. My heart, my very soul, overflows with warmth. Wow. Let's see, are there any side quests of the- Ha! I knew it. Hey, what's up? No, you cannot have it back. I have not finished with it. What is wrong with you? Wait, what's going on? Yesterday you told me you would return it. Hey, you two, stop fighting. What's the problem here? The problem is that this thief will not return to me the picture book I lent him. It is only a picture book, and a poor one at that. Who cares? Wow. I care. It was a birthday gift. You must give it back. 
Ah, stop bothering me and go away. Wow. Glad I gathered the kindness, because I'm getting into this moron. Crikey. No, you know what? Forget that. Dota Pie, smash in his... Open your mouth. Open your mouth, I'm going to shove something in there. Just shove the sugar down his throat. He's like... Okay, okay, okay. Here, here, here. Leave me alone. I don't want to feel another one of those in my mouth. <laughs> he's putting over someone's knee. Oh, yeah. You think he's broken hearted? But he seems so lively. Well, it depends on which of heart's been stolen. In it? Changes your personality in all different ways, does it? It does. Blah. You reverse your words so many times, Drippy, that for some reason I'm just I'm saying, instead of saying it does, I'm just now saying does it. So that is, is that. Sure. Hate them to not be friends anymore. Right, too. Then we need to find ourselves a drop of good old fashioned kindness in it. Done. <laughs> Here's the kindness. Here, have a pie. Did someone just say go kitchen? You guys can't hear the small talking in the background, but there are people talking in the background. It sounds weird. Hmm? What, what happened? I intended to return the picture book, but then I... Truly? You meant to return it? But of course. I will go and fetch it now. Forgive me for my selfishness. Thank you so very much for helping me return to normal. Please, you must accept this. I'll take it. I actually like coffee. Well, in the game. I don't like it IRL. I used to, but it, it's one of those situations where it kind of just dies away. Like, you know when you have the same food over and over and over again, that food eventually, you're just, you just don't like it anymore? It's that kind of situation. I think there's another side quest on this side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello. Curses. I lack the necessary ingredients. What to do, what to do. Is everything okay? The recipe for the most legendary Mamuni dish has come into my possession, but I do not have the ingredients it requires. Is it a donut? Is it pie sauce? I could probably give you one of those. It's known as the Tikka tikka Mahala. According to the recipe, it is a complex and refined curry. Made with the tenderest and most succulent beef. Crikey! That sounds like a proper taste to God for. My mouth's watering just thinking about it. Mine too. Not even gonna lie. Do you like to try it? If you gather the ingredients for me, you will have the honor to, of being the first to taste the Tiki Mahala. Since ancient times. Sure. But what am I supposed to gather? Cook the masterpiece and eat some fluffy rice. Tender beef, and a pinch of the Sheik's special spices. Sheik's special spices. That's a freaking tongue twister. You're getting a pie in the mouth for that one. Here, open up. <laughs> but by the end of this video, I'm just gonna. I mean, I'm, I would have had just to shove pies in everybody's mouths. They're like trying to avoid me because I'm just forcing pies down their throats. <laughs> Afraid I do not know for certain. But I have heard that there is one known as the Sheik of Spice somewhere in this fair city. Well, that sounds like a good place to start, eh? Let's shake a leg and find ourselves a Sheik, shall we? If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Good luck, friends. Okay, so what do we have already, if anything? Well, there's the tender beef. That's one of the things we needed, right? Tender beef. I love how many errands I already have done. It's... Ah, there it is. There it is. So, fluffy rice. Tender beef. So I need fluffy rice, which I believe I can just buy. Um, Sheik's Special Spices is actually another side quest anyway, so... Wow. I'm surprised we're already probably done with that. Oh, hello. Hi. We're talking to a lot of people today. I don't think I can feed you pie. I think it will just go right through your face. Nice to see you again. Did you have fun crossing the desert? Fun? It was a flippin' boiling month. Flippin' boiling month. Boiling for you. Maybe pipsqueak. I'm a ghost. And ghosts don't feel the heat. So there. 
Ha ha ha. Okay. I wish you were physical, because now I want to shove a pie in your throat. What are you doing here, Horus? I'm looking at these fountains. They're amazing. They squirt out milk. All the milk a boy could drink. They're what Alamamun is famous for. But the spicy smell coming from that food stall is mixing with the smell of the milk. It's strange. Huh. <laughs> you think so? I kind of like it. Hey, there are still loads of spells you don't know yet, aren't there, Oliver? Well, I am training. It's just that my wizard's companion is kind of... Uh, most of the pages are missing. <laughs> Is it? Oh yeah, I had to give you the page for a spirit medium, didn't I? Uh-huh. Mr. Trippy first gave me it. it to me. The only spell inside was Gateway. Really? So the pages had been torn out? I bet it was that idiot Shadar was doing. Alright, I suppose I'd be... I'd better help you fill it back up again, haven't I? Teddy, that's generous. Maybe I was wrong about you being a stingy little midget after all. Well, I'm not just gonna hand a load of pages over. That's what you're thinking. Oliver will have to prove his wizarding comprehension skills first. Wizard's companion isn't just full of spells. There are also stories in there that were gathered by the sages over the centuries. Alright, open your mouth because I'm gonna shove a pie in there. A ghost pie. <laughs> That's gonna be you. Might inspire people to stand up to him. Right. I'm going to give you one to get you started. Have a read. It's one of my favorites. Cowardly Prince and the Lion. Shoot, I have to read this? <sighs> How long is it? Wait, where is it? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, that's a lot of reading. Um... Well, at least it's only five pages. Okay, you know what? I'm... Oh. oh. Okay. <sighs> Reading time. A cowardly prince. In a certain country, there lived a prince named Tamalo, who was sharp of mind but weak of spirit. His father was a brave king, strong, wise, and loved by his subjects. But the noble example he set served only to weaken Tamalo's spirit. On one occasion, his father told him thus, Soon, my boy, it shall be time for me to retire upon which thou shalt become king. While the announcement delighted the prince, it filled him also with a terrible dread. For he did not have the spirit required to ascend to the throne. In his vexation, he wandered from the castle lost in thought, whereupon he encountered a fearsome looking lion. The prince tried to flee, but the lion caught him easily in his paw lifted him to his gaping mouth and swallowed him. Whoa! Okay, well that, wow. At first, the prince thought he was doomed, but at length he began to reconsider his position. At least I no longer have to become king, thought the prince. After taking a deep breath, he said to the lion, Mighty lion, I am the prince of this country, and the day after tomorrow I was due to become its king. Since thou hast now swallowed me, however, Thou must needs become king instead. King, eh? Replied the lion. I shan't complain about that. Thereupon the prince led the lion back to the palace. Huh? How's the prince even alive? Courtiers were shocked to see the lion enter the palace, but the prince pleaded with them from inside his stomach, and the lion was accepted as king. The lion proved to have quite an aptitude for royal duties. Oh wait, is this... This is an interesting story, I'll say that much. The lion 
reproved Jeff for the golden pearls. Whensoever there was a dispute in his kingdom, the lion would simply growl at the quarrelers. <laughs> Stop complaining or I'll sh I shall eat you alive. Whensoever a bridge was swept away by a flood, the lion would simply use his paws to rip down a tree and lay it across the river. Regarding taxation and legal matters, the lion was utterly ignorant. But whensoever such a problem arose, Prince Tamalo would speak to him from inside his stomach and provide him with a sound solution. Hmm. After some time, the news reached the king that two dragons were ravaging the eastern and western edges of his kingdom. The people were terrified and looked to their king to deliver them from this terrible evil. Upon which the king announced that he should wait, wait, don't tell me. He's gonna feed him some pie. Right? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it, Dan? He should go and smite the dragons himself. Ow. Oh. Well, the same thing. <laughs> but even the fearsome lions stood no chance of defeating two such terrible dragons. My dear stomach dweller, said he then, what in the wide world should I do now? The Prince Tamalo considered the lion's question, and at length provided him with a suitable scheme. The lion headed east to the part of his kingdom that was being ravaged by the larger dragon and roared in its ugly face. Okay, then. Dragon, I shall soon slay thee. I fear thee not, for no matter how large thou art, thou shalt never devour me. <laughs> Scoffed the dragon. We shall see about that. Upon which he ate the lion whole. From inside the dragon's stomach, the lion said, Dragon, thou art now the king of this, of this land. It is therefore the royal duty to defeat the dragon, ravaging the western part of thy kingdom. At first, the dragon paid him no heed. When the dragon witnessed the humans around him bowing down in, def in, def in deference, as Prince Tamalo had requested them to do beforehand, he decided to do his royal duty, whereupon he went to the western mountains and slew the other dragon. Once the other dragon had been slain, the lion commenced to scratching the inside of the dragon's stomach. Ow! It hurts! It hurts! cried the dragon, rolling on the floor in agony. Have mercy, I beseech thee! To which the lion said, G Give me your foot! The lion said, give me your foot so I can feed your mouth with this special donut pie that I've been told about is very good and not deadly in any kind of sugary way. If thou wouldst not feel this pain, thou must promise never again to hurt the people of this kingdom. Oh, very well, I promise, cried the dragon in reply. But the dragon was a cunning beast, and Prince Tamala knew that he would break his promise the moment the lion was out of his stomach. He therefore had the lion take out the babbling berry that he told him to bring with him and place it inside the dragon. This berry was known to make noises that sounded like someone muttering to himself. With the babbling berry in his stomach, the dragon shan't notice when the lion escapes, thought Prince Tamala. Later that night, when the dragon was sleeping, the lion crept out of his gaping mouth and set off back to the palace. The dragon left the king and his subjects alone forevermore. The kingdom had been at peace for ten years when the lion said to Prince Tamal, Stomach dweller, it is time thou camest hence, for, hence from in there. I would have thee take my place on the throne. Prince Tamal was shocked and replied in a quivering tone, I, I, I fear I do not have the spirit to become king. But thy judgments over the past ten years have invariably been wise, said the lion. That is as may be, but I am a coward, replied the prince Tamala. It was only because I was protected by a great strong lion that I 
could act so decisively. Yet the lion paid no heed. With an almighty sneeze, he ejected Prince Tamalo from his stomach. It had been ten years since Prince Tamalo had seen the wide world outside, and he could not believe his eyes. The lion's mane was now full white, and its face was covered in wrinkles. Shut up inside the lion's stomach, and Prince Tamalo had been quite unaware of any of this. As thou canst see with thine own eyes, said the lion, I have grown old. Ten years hast thou resided in my stomach, and not, yet not once didst thou scratch me or cause my, me any pain, as I myself did to the dragon. Though thou couldst have done at any time, Courtiers and subjects of this kingdom did not accept me because I am strong. They accepted me because I have given them my all. By which I mean, thou hast given them thine. Thou art the true king of this country. Thou lackest not the spirit, I assure thee. In like manner, everyone at the palace beseeched Prince Tamala to become their king. Prince Tamala, everyone is humbly grateful everything thou hast done. Our country needed such, just such a king as thee. Upon hearing these words, Prince Tamalo felt his courage swell up within him. As king, Tamalo gave still more of himself to his country, and despite the fact that the lion had retired, he continued to live alongside the king in his palace. Though many countries are ruled by animals these days, true, cat in Ding Dong Dell, cow in Alma Moon, and I think there are two areas that aren't really run by animals, but pig type things in Hamilton, I think is the next dinner. I don't know. Though many countries are ruled by animals these days, in ancient times all kings were human. Indeed, the magnificent lion about whom you have just read was the first ever animal to be acknowledged as a king, and the will has never been the same since. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, that's the first time I ever read any of these stories. I'm not even going to lie, that's the first time I read any of those. Alright, you dumb nut. Did you read the story I gave you? Well, I hope you read it carefully because I've got a question for you. Ready? Attempt to solve. Yep. Good. Who goes? There are quite a few characters in the story. Do you remember them all? Tell me, who was the third smallest out of the prince? The Lion King, the Dragon of the East, and the Dragon of the West. Well, I have no idea what the size of the. I, th I actually think it was the Lion King. I think. I think. Hansa Vinyab of Abisua. That's not even the words, but you know what? I think it's the Lion King. If not, then it's definitely the Prince. Sorry, that's not the right. Really? Is it the. Okay. The dragon of the east? The dra why? Hmm. I wish there was a Oh my gosh, come on. Of Oops. It's definitely not the dragons. Is it the prince? Prince? 
Is it the pie? It would make sense if it's the prince. To his fault. Um... I'm confused. I wish I didn't have to move things around like this to be able to just select what I'm trying to answer. I'm gonna do, I guess, guess this one. Dragon of the West. Of course that's right! Correct, very impressive. Your wizardly comprehension must be almost as good as mine. Oh, I said I'd help you fill your wizard's companion back up, didn't I? Yes, you did! Here. Thanks. That only took like six minutes to do. Eleven minutes, something like that, I don't know. I suppose it was a bit mean giving you a question like that. Yeah! Open mouth, pie in! <clears throat> All right, I'm a pie. I, I, I'll admit it. I'm kind of forcing pies on everyone. That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose it was a bit mean giving you a question like that. You worked it out eventually. That's what being a wizard is all about. Learning to look carefully at every detail and understand what's going on. Shut up with the wise old man talk, will you? You're no flippin' older than Olive Boy here. I'm not? <sighs> no. I don't suppose I am. At least I don't seem to be. What's that supposed to mean? I'm assuming he's much older than he looks. Like, he probably died at an older age. It's strange. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something really, really important. Never mind. I can't believe how much this place has changed. I'm going to see if other towns around the world are as different these days. I think I'll head somewhere with a bracing sea breeze next. Might not be able to find feel the wind on my face, but I can still enjoy the view. See you soon. Wait, what was the spell you gave me? I don't even know. Did you give me a spell? Or am I just draw poison? You know, I don't know. I don't know if he gave me a spell or not. I might be just going crazy anyway. Blah, 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 blah. I've got many more people I need to shove eyes into their mouths, but I'm going to have to save it for later because right now we are out of time. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the Light Witch. If you enjoyed this little nostalgia trip, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like this, consider subscribing to the channel. We do stuff like this all the time. Speaking of, if you want to check out an RPG I have done prior to this particular game, I'll have a link to one across my head here. Uh, if you want to check out the rest of this trip up to this point, link in the top right hand corner will lead to all of the stops up to this point so far. However, in the meantime, I'm gonna head off. This train needs to head off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!